we're about to run through exactly how you can make YouTube channel art that looks something like this using free software in just a couple minutes. My name is Matt Parr, I run nine different YouTube channels and I help people with YouTube. So if that sounds good, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Now without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So like I said, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make channel art like this in just a couple of minutes using completely free software. So first of all, let's take a look at this resource provided by YouTube talking about creating or editing channel art. And if you scroll down right here, they actually give you a channel art template from this drop down right here. And it says, if you're not sure about the height and width of the image, check out our channel art templates to see how your images will show across different devices. And you can simply right click, save this image onto your computer or mobile phone. And then you can put this into your image editor, overlay it, and then decrease the opacity. So you can see which portions of your channel art will show and not show when on different devices like desktops, tablets, and mobile devices. But the tool we're gonna be using is called Snappa dot com and snappa.com is completely free and within snappa.com one of the reasons i recommend it for channel art is they actually have a channel art template and like i said completely free you can find a link to snappa down at the description below but if you go to snappa.com and you go make an account and log in it'll look something like this and the size for youtube channel art is 2560 by 1440 but like i said the amazing thing about snappa is that if you scroll down right here as you can see, they actually have a pre-selected channel art template baked in to Snappa. So if you select that right there, as you can see, they actually have tons of templates to make your channel art very simply. So if we're going through here and we see a template we like, like let's say this template right here. Let's say we like this template. All you have to do is select any of these little things like this right here, and you can simply type in your own channel name. So if we say mine's Matt Parr, and then we put helping you with YouTube, and as you can see, you can reposition everything right within here, highly customizable. And the amazing thing about this as well is that it shows you the tablet safe area. So if you're watching on a tablet or if you're viewing a YouTube channel on a tablet, it shows within this area right here. And if you're viewing on a desktop, it'll show within this huge area right here. And if you're on a phone, it'll show within this box right here. Unless we want to change the text on this to say subscribe, since we're talking about YouTube. And there we go. As you can see, we've made some amazing channel art in just a couple of minutes, but we're going to be making some more right here from scratch. So again, to do that, all you have to do is go up to menu and select create a graphic. And now let's go down again to YouTube channel art and then select create from scratch. Now this is going to just give you the template. And this right here is the safe zone for both desktop and mobile devices. So this is what will for sure show, but on a TV, this whole huge thing will show. And if you're not using Snappa, no problem at all. Another editor I recommend is called paint.net and you can get paint.net at getpaint.net. So I highly recommend paint.net for if you're on Windows, but I do recommend Snappa for both Windows and Mac because it has all these amazing built-in features. But if you do use another editor like Photoshop or paint.net, you can just download this template from YouTube and the way to get to that page is to just search create or edit channel art and you'll find this page provided by YouTube. So now let's go to this right here and let's actually make some channel art from scratch. Now what I like to do is go to background right here and as you can see you can literally add a background and Snappa gives you tons of different backgrounds to put in your channel art and I like to select patterns right here and there's tons of great little different background patterns right here. So let's say we wanted to do in the theme of making money online. So we wanted something like a green background because green is kind of the color of money, at least in the US. So let's just select this background right here. And as you can see, that background is automatically added to the YouTube channel art. And this template is baked into the software, which is super cool. So now let's add some text as well. And you can simply add either a heading, subheading or body text. Let's say we wanted to add a big heading. And then let's say channel name is Matt Pars channel like so and then we can simply move it by dragging it around right here and let's say we want the color to be white we can simply select that and let's make it a little bigger as well and to make it bigger we can simply increase the size of the font so let's say we wanted to do 90 for the font size that looks a little better let's choose a different font as well something that stands out pretty good but is still easy to read I think that looks good right there and let's make it a little bigger yet even maybe 130 a little bit too big let's go 120 perfect okay so now that looks good right there we'll put this 
We'll just put this um, right on the right hand side right here. And now let's add a shape right here for the background. So you can select shapes right here. And let's say we wanted to add just a rectangle just like so. So then what we're going to do is make this rectangle a little bit bigger like so. And then actually rotate it like this so we have a nice angled effect on the channel art. And let's make it bigger so it takes up the whole background. There we go. So that looks good. So now let's change the color of this shape and we can do that by selecting this right here. And let's say, let's see what green looks like, a different color green, or maybe let's try white. White looks pretty good as well. Let's try red, maybe green and red, no. I think this looks good right here. So now that we selected the color, let's put some more text on top of this right here. So let's add a subheading. Let's put subscribe for all things YouTube related. Let's increase the font size for this a little bit. And we'll try 80. There we go, looks good. Then we'll put this right here so it fits good. There we go, now let's change the font of this as well. Let's do that same font, I think it was called Lato. So now we can actually add a graphic as well. So from this section right here, let's actually search YouTube. Let's see if they have any nice YouTube graphics. Perfect, they have a ton that we can use for completely free within our YouTube channel art. So let's see if they have any good white ones right here that would stand out on this. Or maybe a black one might look good. Let's try this one right here. Perfect, that looks great. So then let's shrink that down a little bit right there. Let's move that to the side. We'll put this right here. And then I think this might look pretty good if we put this maybe in the middle. And we'll put this right here so it's kind of going right through the middle. Perfect, that looks great. Now let's also add another shape right here. We're gonna put this around matte par. Just add another touch onto it. Let's make it white. And then what's also really cool as well is that we can actually toggle the safe zone template provided by Snappa for the different YouTube dimensions. So if you go up to the top right here and if you click this YouTube button, as you can see, you can actually turn off the template so you can get a better idea of what it's gonna actually look like on your YouTube channel art. Because this actually makes it look a little bit darker than it actually will look. But if you turn that off, you can get an idea as to what the YouTube channel art will actually look like. And I think it looks great. So now that we're done right here, all we have to simply do is we can save it right here directly within Snappa. And then after that, you can select download right here to download it to your computer. All right, so now that we have the YouTube channel are done, it's time to add it to your YouTube channel. Now to do that, it's very simple. You simply go to your YouTube channel like this and you mouse over your YouTube channel art and you can select this right here. And then you can simply upload your photo from your computer or choose your photos because we already have the photo uploaded right here. And then we can simply select it and then you can adjust the crop if you want. So for example, if it was smaller, you can make it smaller or bigger. And if it looks good, you can click select. And this is going to put your YouTube channel art as the background for your YouTube channel. And as you can see, it looks great. And another bonus tip as well is to include a call to action if you're on a desktop computer. So what do I mean by that? You can actually add an arrow pointing for people to subscribe to your YouTube channel to increase subscribers or to increase opt-ins to your email list or to whatever you put as the links for your YouTube channel. So let me show you an example of that. So if you go to your YouTube channel right here, as you can see, we have some links set up right here. And I actually have a custom subscribe link. So if someone clicks this link right here, it will automatically prompt them to subscribe to this given YouTube channel. So let's say we wanted to point an arrow to that custom subscribe link. So what we can do is within Snappa, we can add some more text. Like let's say we just wanted to add this text right here and we move this over to the, only the max desktop safe area. So this will be the part that only shows on desktop because the links do not show on mobile devices unless people go to the about section of your YouTube channel. But otherwise those links won't show. So that's why it's a good idea to only put this in the max desktop safe area. So then we can change this and we can simply say subscribe and then we can make this white so you can see it. There we go. Then let's maybe bold it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Let's say 40. There we go. looks great. So then let's move this up a little bit right here. And then let's just add an arrow like this right here. That looks good. And then we'll rotate it down right there, make it a little bit smaller, move it in place under the subscribe call to action right there. So maybe move that up so they can see it. And then let's toggle the graphic safe zone off so we can see if it looks good. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna download this and now upload the YouTube channel art to show you what it looks like. 
So as you can see, we have it added to the YouTube channel. And if you look at the right hand side right here, as you can see, it says to subscribe and it has an arrow pointing to subscribe. So people can simply select this link right here and it will prompt them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. And if you're wondering how you can get this link right here, all you simply have to do is put in your YouTube channel URL and then put question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. And you can simply select that, put that at the end of your YouTube channel URL and then put that URL as your main website link. And let me show you exactly how to do that as well. So to do that, you simply select customize channel right here. And then you just simply go to the about section of your channel. And then as you can see, you can edit the links. And if you choose these links right here, you can just simply say something like subscribe here, right here, and then put in your custom subscribe link right there. And then you can just hit done. And as you can see, this will only show on desktop computers because only these links show on desktop computers as well. You don't want this pointing to say subscribe when if you're on a mobile device, it won't actually show them that little link there to subscribe. The actual subscribe button will be there, but that link right there will not. So that's what I recommend doing, putting in that custom subscribe link because it gives viewers just one more chance to subscribe to your YouTube channel. I highly recommend doing it. And as you can see, it looks very good on desktop with that arrow pointing right there. And you can play around with this as well. For example, if this is too far to the left, you can move this a little bit more to the left within Snapper right here, just like so, and then resave it, upload it back to your YouTube channel art. And it's very simple. Now it's actually time to get views and subscribers and hopefully even make some money from your YouTube channel. And if you want to discover my number one recommendation for making money on YouTube and get this without ever even showing your face or recording any videos or even getting on camera once, then check out the link in my description to attend a completely free training that's gonna show you exactly how I run nine different YouTube channels and more importantly, make money from those YouTube channels. And I really think of my YouTube channels as separate businesses. And if you're looking to start an online business or you just wanna get a million subscribers on YouTube, check out the link in the description. It's going to help you a ton. So I hope this video helped a ton. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Now check out this video right here, which is gonna show you how you can actually create your YouTube channel correctly and optimize your channel correctly so you can get the most amount of views and subscribers to your YouTube channel. So I highly recommend this video right here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Follow me on Instagram at MakeMoneyMatt. My name is Matt Parr and I'll see you in the next video.